Welcome to this Gran Turismo 5 special report covering an event that celebrated the launch of the title in Madrid, Spain, covered by our overseas reporter Andreas Nee. You may remember him from Gamescom in Germany, which we had on earlier in the show this year. And he's at it again, this time getting you lots of GT5, very cool stuff. Here he is. Buenos dias, me llamo Andreas y hablo español un poco. That's unfortunately as far as my Spanish goes. Welcome to Madrid, capital of Spain and host to Sony's launch party for Gran Turismo 5. As you can see in the background, you can see two race pods that Sony has put up here, set up here, so that everybody can try out the Madrid track while being in Madrid. And if you pay close attention to the background, you notice this building, although obscured a little bit by construction work, still noticeable by the advertisement on the roof. So yes, in fact, we are right next on the actual track that can be found in the game. And you can try out the game, the track, while being right next to the track. This evening they're gonna have some pretty cool stuff for us in store. And tomorrow morning there's going to be a Q&A with Kazanuri Yamauchi himself. So that we can follow up on all the questions we still have on Gran Turismo 5. cool stuff that Sony has at the City Hall of Madrid. As you see, racing parts are here, classic and modern cars, supercars, very exciting. You get to drive them in the game, you see them here. Even uh, the car that uh, Kazunori Yamauchi was uh, driving during his 24-hour Nürburgring stint is here. You can actually see it, it's a real car. Very exciting stuff. To make sure that everybody experiences the full extent of the game. Sony has put out those cards that I just dropped. Great! And those checklists uh, to make sure that, for example, karting is tried out or uh, the race of the classic 1967 cars. All in all, a very good show, but the best is yet to come. iRacing.com is the premier online racing simulation featuring head-to-head -head competition on your PC. Race from your home PC, competing on the world's best real-world cars and tracks. Thousands of race fans and scores of pro racers like Dale Jr. and Justin Wilson are already racing at iRacing. Experience the thrill of victory yourself and go racing today at iRacing.com. So there's part one of Andreas's adventures in Madrid. We're going to continue the journey. This time he'll be interviewing Jordan Greer of GT Planet. They're going to talk about the press conference that was held with Kazunori Yamauchi, GT Planet, Gran Turismo 5 impressions, the future, all kinds of stuff. Check it out. Wrapping up this uh, launch event, I have a very special guest here with me. Um, please introduce yourself. Uh, hello, I'm Jordan uh, Greer from uh, GT Planet. It's, it's an honor to be here on Inside Sim Racing. All right, so you're the mastermind behind the site. I run the, I've been running the site for 10 years now, and uh, it's, uh, it's a great honor to be here for the launch of the game. It's, uh, it means a lot to me, and uh, it, it means a lot to GT Planet uh, to have representation here. So uh, it's a very special event, and I'm very glad to be here. Yes, it was very special. Um, we actually got to see Kazunori Yamauchi. I saw him before at Gamescom, but it was actually the first time you saw him, right? 
so Jordan, we just arrived here at the launch party and already very exciting things happened, right? Yes, I uh, just met uh, Kazunori Yamauchi for the first time and it's something I've waited uh, the last 10 years of my life for and uh, it was an incredible experience. He's a very, very nice guy and uh, he was very, very excited to meet me. He seemed very uh, receptive to uh, GT Planet and uh, just told him, how much we appreciate his work and what uh, what his game means to me, and uh, it was just incredible. I'm I'm totally starstruck at the moment. <laughs> I bet. I mean, it was uh, actually a worthy well conclusion to this long journey that we uh, had with the GT5, right? Yes, it's. It's been very dramatic, uh, very traumatic, and <laughs> many times, and uh, it. Uh, it, it 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 was a very positive event. Uh, they didn't uh, they didn't dwell on on the delays. They didn't uh, they, they they focused on the future. And uh, it was uh, it was it was a true celebration of uh, of Kazunori's work and uh, all the effort that has gone into this game. And and it was very professionally done. It was a very very well managed event. And uh, it was uh, very very fitting for uh, for the title. Yeah, it was held in the uh, City Hall of Madrid and uh, we learned that actually this is not a venue that is normally available for events. So it is really a special honor for uh, Sony to be there. And uh, I believe the deputy mayor was there of Madrid as well. Yes, the, uh, the mayor was there. I, I'd heard that he is actually a big fan of the Gran Turismo uh, series. And uh, he, was, uh, he was very, very excited to learn that the city was going to be featured in the game. And uh, so their selection, he mentioned that, he, that their selection of Madrid for the uh, launch party here was, uh, was a great honor for the city. Sure was. Now, of course, we got to play the game. And uh, I mentioned you being uh, uh, the head of GT Planet. Uh, for sure, you must have played the game already for two weeks now ahead of everybody else, right? <laughs> Unfortunately, no, I, I did not. Uh, I, this was my first time uh, to play it. And it was, uh, it was <laughs> something I've looked forward to for quite some time. Okay, so it actually was the first time. How was it for you then? Oh, it was fantastic. It was fantastic. Um, I've been playing a lot of uh, iRacing. Uh, on the on the PC, and it's uh, it's a great simulator. I love the force feedback of that. It really spoils you. Uh, you know, you you get really used to it, and you play other games, and you miss it terribly. And I was concerned about GT5. Uh, I wanted to make sure that it would have the same level of uh, detail transmitted through the steering wheel when you played it. And I was very very pleased to to realize that it did have that same sensation. And for me, that's what it's all about: the sensation communicated through the wheel and uh, that's that's what gives you the thrill that's what lets you know exactly where you're at uh, one of the few reference points that you have when you're playing a, a driving game and it was uh, just fantastic and the, the rain uh, the rain gameplay was amazing the level of grip how it decreased I was very impressed totally thrilled totally thrilled awesome um, you mentioned the Q&A session, and uh, that is actually the first time you and, and pretty much me uh, attended something like that. Um, I know that expectations from the readers were high. Um, you showed me your questions that you compiled, and I thought to myself, well, that is already worth um, a whole interview, a one-hour interview, and uh, we knew it was only going to be um, 30 minutes. Um, how was your impression of this Q&A session? Uh, it was it was it was very disappointing. It was very disappointing. I, I think he uh, he enjoyed some of the questions, you know, but he uh, uh, he we didn't get to address any of the issues about the standard cars, uh, premium cars, or the uh, like the the Bugatti uh, Veyron. That was another question I was going to ask. Uh, the uh, Piazza del Campo uh, karting track, uh, the uh, El Capitan, which we saw in the Red Bull trailer. Uh, the they, these were all questions that uh, that I wanted to ask and had a lot of great questions sent in by uh, GT Planet readers that I was anxious to get to, but uh, these experienced journalists, they would go in there and they would throw in three or four questions and uh, by the time Translator Son <laughs> had, had, had translated them and Kazunori had made his extra comments, one person had consumed, you know, 10, 12, 13 minutes and uh, it was all over. So. We uh, we learned our lesson. Unfortunately, sorry guys, we didn't get to uh, didn't get to ask a lot of the questions that you wanted to. I was disappointed and I apologize, but uh, maybe next time. Yeah, it's uh, always uh, 
tough to to get in there and ask the questions and um, but it was still fun experiencing this this whole thing and and seeing him react to the different questions and and stuff like that yeah. but also uh, the, his Casanori's love for for fast cars was um, visible when he tried out the SLS AMG in person because they had one in red there and uh, you got to try it as well right yes I sure did that was Gosh, that was an amazing experience. But not with cars in the, in the driver's seat. Not with cars in the driver's seat. Uh, it was another uh, another gentleman. He was a, a, a great driver, a wild driver. We drove around the streets of Madrid uh, and traced the actual track in the game. Yeah, I had the uh, fortunate. Um, I was in the fortunate position to try out the the BMW they had there and drove around the track as well. And it was really nice to see uh, things that uh, you saw or you recognize from the game actually on the on the street itself on the track itself no. How fast does this car accelerate to 100 kilometers? 50. Good drink and good wheels. Yeah. Yeah. acceleration yeah It certainly okay. was fun. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye.
when you mentioned uh, GT Planet and, and that it has grown, um, can you tell us a little bit about the, the, the backgrounds, basically, how big it is and how many visitors or whatever? Yes, well, as of uh, yesterday, we had 146,000 registered users. The, the forums, we've had more posts than ever before, and everybody is really excited about talking about the game. I'm very, very proud of the site, and I'm very thankful for all of our users Who, who make it what it is. Uh, the blog wouldn't be possible without them. And uh, it's, I always try to credit everybody that, that sends me information, but I get, I get hundreds of emails a day. It's, it's very difficult to keep up sometimes, but I just have to thank everybody out there who's, who's watching uh, because it wouldn't be possible without them. And it's, it's a great experience. It's, it's, a, it's an honor to lead, to lead the community. And the journey is not, has not ended with the release of GT5, I believe. Uh, what, are, what are your next plans for, for the site now? The big thing is going to be uh, tuning. That's going to be a, a tuning database. That's going to be the first thing. And I've, I've waited to see, uh, get my hands on a copy of the game to see exactly which settings and, and, and what com uh, parameters uh, will be available in the game before I finally begin to move that into the final beta stages. But uh, that's going to be coming soon, and it's going to be uh, great. I've had a lot of uh, requests for an iPhone application. That's also something that, uh, that I'm, I'm uh, definitely looking into and would love to have so you can just conveniently look up your, your tunes right there and, uh, and find the best set up for your car at a given tr track and I want to do it I want to do it right and uh, want to make sure that it really covers all the bases and then uh, also want to uh, really support the photo mode integration I want to make it easy to uh, organize and share all of your pictures uh, and share them on the web not just within the games games functionality so I want uh, to be able to uh, tag pictures just as you would say on Facebook so every time you have a, a, a BMW M3 or a SLS AMG, you can tag it. And so that will be integrated with our car database, GT Planet's car database. So you can go and you can, in one central location, you can view tunes for the car, you can view uh, pictures of the car, and it will all be tied in nicely. And I think that's really going to be a popular feature. I know it's something that I would love to have uh, as a fan of the game. And I, I think uh, GT Planet users will enjoy it as well. From there, I want to build upon the uh, racing leagues and the uh, ability to organize your own championship and uh, really take the online elements of the game with the private lobbies and the private race events. I want to make it very easy to organize serious race events around those features that uh, Polyphony Digital has provided. And I think, uh, I think it should be a lot of fun. <laughs> and it sounds like a lot of uh, work, so you get your work cut out for you right there. Exciting stuff coming up on uh, GT Planet then. Well, uh, this wraps up our little interview. We have to uh, thank Sony um, for bringing us out here. It has been a real honor for us to participate, right? Absolutely. Uh, Jardine International, the uh, organizers of uh, the launch party, and uh, played a big part in, in uh, helping me to get over here and attend this event. So I've got to say thanks to those guys. Uh, it's been an incredible experience, and thanks to everyone involved. Thank you. And thanks for watching. That's our little interview here on uh, the launch event of Gran Turismo 5 in Madrid, Spain. That's going to wrap up this Gran Turismo 5 special report coming from Madrid, Spain. I'd like to thank Jordan from GT Planet. It's great to put a face with the name and we hope to see you on the show again in the future. Also like to thank our reps over at Sony who were able to grant Andreas all the access he needed for him to provide the wonderful content that you guys just viewed. And make sure you visit our website, InsideSimRacing.tv. I'm Jessica Lopez. Checker flag is out, and so am I.